You would be surprised how many DMs I get from people begging me to make renders. It's a lot. A lot. So instead of being a businessman genius like I normally am, I'm gonna help your dumbass learn how to make a render. This process is not difficult, but if for any reason it is, you're stupid. That's pretty much it. So all you need is Blender. I have everything linked down below and Roblox Studio, which you should already have. The Blender rig to make renders is also linked down below. Start by inserting your character. Just enter your username and uh, I use this plugin called Load Character by Already Pro, which conveniently enough is in the description. If you're a normal human being, you would already have your entire avatar set up and ready for it. But if you're someone who likes to piss people off and you're a real bad boy, then you have a model. So spawn that model in and put everything on. Get the attire from your attire folder and put in the avatar which you already spawned in. Because you're going to need this for later. Make sure to also put your face in. If you have one of those models with a separate head from your face, honestly, tough luck. Life isn't fair. You don't get what you need sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta face the fact that no one cares about you. There's no reason for your continued existence. Alright? Give it up. But, back to the people that matter. You get your attire and face ready. Now get every morph that you need and put it where it's supposed to be. Make sure the size is accurate to how it would normally look and put it on your head. Export any head morphs and like uh, any torso or leg morphs separately from the head so they aren't all stuck together. Now we gotta import all of this into Blender. What you wanna do right now is highlight the part that I've highlighted. You can use shift click and uh, that's to highlight things and control click to unhighlight something right click it click export and call it whatever you want it doesn't really matter it's gonna be named after whatever the models called open your blender alright once you're in blender click this file icon right here mine is called blender but yours is probably gonna be named after your avatar and that's that your avatar now go back to studio get any morphs like your hair or whatever export that call it whatever you want if it's far away click it right click set origin geometry to origin pick it up and place it where it needs to be Great, now onto the hard part. M click object mode, click the lines right here, and click pose mode. Just do whatever pose you want, just like set up however. I'm not gonna try with this. You can uh, make sure if you're gonna move the head, you select the hair and your head, and then you can rotate it. But this part is usually is just up to you. Do it however you want. Freestyle it. Learn how everything works. And yeah, once you find a pose that you like, go down here. Click this right here. Click ambient occlusion. Click the camera. Go to film. Click transparent. And that's pretty much the basics down. Now on to the lighting. Uh, I recommend going here right now. Go back to object mode, add a camera, and add to add a light. Uh, I'm gonna use a spotlight. Set it up however you need to. Move the power to like 500 ish, however much you want. 
and that's pretty good for me go back here now click the camera here click view click navigation click walk navigation and move the camera to where it highlights your entire character once you find a pose that you like and you're done with everything and you follow the entire video then your render is done but before we get to that let's talk about if you need a championship in this get your title ready and uh click the last link in the description for this model I, I like using this one because it looks pretty cool just grab the strap and I'm gonna use this for the belt get all the plates off the belt Alright, once your belt is ready, group it, export that as well. Once again, call it whatever you want. Go back to Blender. Import that when it's done. This is going to take a while. Once again, click it if it's far away. Set origin, geometry to origin. Now you're going to find an issue where it's either purple or gray. What you want to do is go to the color tab of the belt that's at the bottom click the name and disconnect every part of it alright put ever put it wherever you want to be scale it however you want and once that's ready go back here click render and click render image completely mess up your PC so give it like 20 minutes and it'll be done